back with another video and before I get into the mail I wanted to show off uh, some pickups that I got. It was kind of interesting. So if you've seen my Dollar Tree DVD video um, you, you know exactly what I got there. But if you haven't seen it, take a look at that and see what happened. Uh, so I decided when I went to the post office right next door to the post office is a Dollar General, not to be confused with Dollar Tree. Rarely does Dollar General have anything that's a buck but I went to the DVD section which is right by the door. There's another separate section that's five dollars and up and you never find anything valuable or decent in that. I think they had Spider-Man Far From Home on a regular DVD for um, twenty bucks. Who really wanted that uh, for twenty bucks? Uh, but anyway, so I picked up three movies and if you haven't guessed it already, they were only a buck a piece. This one I think was originally two ninety-five somewhere, or maybe Dollar General or whatever. Uh, but this is Brian Ferry, Dylan Ask Live, The London Sessions. So I thought that was kind of interesting there. I got a reflection of me right there. Um, that was a buck there. And um, rarely do I ever go into Dollar General. Their DVDs were priced really weird. In fact, I found a copy of her, what people have been finding at uh, Dollar Tree, for a buck. And it was like a three ninety five or something crazy. So interesting. And this has got um, a copy of Hard Rain's so Gonna Fall. Uh, the original 1973 video is on here as well and some other bonus tracks from Brian Ferry on there so that's really pretty neat uh, the Dylan-esque Dylan -esque Live the London Sessions so that one was a buck I figured I had to grab that one uh, this one here is uh, Thunderbirds Are Go International Rescue Edition whatever that means uh, this is a one hour 33 minute video it's color from 1966 so that's really pretty neat and that was a dollar why was that a dollar? Jerry Anderson's Thunderbirds are Go. Somebody just mentioned that. I'm not sure who did mention that, but um, one of the live streams I think I was watching, someone mentioned Thunderbirds, I think. They're trying to figure out who did that, and it was Jerry Anderson. And the last one, I only picked up $3 worth because the other dollar ones were just random. Uh, just random nothingness. And uh, there was probably about 6 or $7 dollar ones total. The rest were two dollars and up, which didn't see anything that was worth grabbing. Uh, this is the History Boys. I know nothing about it. It came from 2006, 2007. Brian Ferry was 2008, and I don't know what Thunderbirds was, but uh, originally 66. And it's brilliantly acted by a perfect cast, is what it says. And uh, so I will look into that one. That looked a little bit interesting there. Rated R. Um, the History Boys. So if you know anything about any of these, or enjoy any of these let me know and we'll get into the mail okay I have a video today and a little bit different this time I uh, took a trip into town and I found several things I found some uh, DVD slash VCR shelves CD type things and lo and behold they were only a buck a piece at a a Goodwill type store, Goodwill store, by the pound, whatever, and they were off to the corner and somebody pushed some shopping carts in the way and I couldn't really look at them, but I, you know, you know, I'll get them a dollar piece. I may show them at the end of the video. But that's not the main focus of this one. These are these little cards here, and they were all in a ruined album, and somebody had set it off to the side, and I asked them, I said, all the pages are tore out except for a couple, uh, what can you do? And they said, well, we can do, um, kids book price for 39 cents. I said, okay, I'll take that. So in this album, and I can also show you the complete original front of it. Um, I've damaged it, uh, put it into different segments here, but I wanted to show you the different stages. I found some old Arm & Hammer bird and fish cards, and there's one I'm looking up on COMC right now. Now this is not characteristic of what the price might be, but this was listed as poor I think poor and fair condition and this is the northern pike right here I think that's what it is uh, let's see the northern pike and this is from 1900 Arm & Hammer fish series and I believe that the northern pike is right here right in the center there well it would be the center of the camera was setting right but uh, so that's, that's one right here um, it just says that grandma Nicholson pasted the fish pictures in this book for Dorothy, that's all it says there. So these are ones I've taken off as best as I can. I will show you the different variations. So this one has some of the filler on there and some of the back and 
it left a stain right on the front right here and there's some more of the paper there the second one here um, has some damaged edge right there because when I was pulling the paper away I got too close and started to peel off the border there and then there's a little bit less of the backing on there this one here on the end here wasn't glued very well and oh man I had this gross bug crawling on my finger or my arm I just gotta get rid of it now oh yuck um, and then this one here um, has some of the original backing on it with some of the paper. I think up here it started to rip. So I don't know, and then you can tell right there it definitely ripped there. And then, so I have those three here which do not want to stand because the stand wants to fall over. So the bird and the fish, I'm guessing the bird are probably about the same time period. Uh, so this one here, and then this one that's the inner fill, uh, some sort of, you know, fiber board. And then and then there's these, there were ten of them here. Somebody had bent this right here. Maybe they were trying to get the cards off. Um, so some of them have been partially ripped on the backs there. I don't know how to get those off. And then of course that's the, uh, that was the cover of that. So if they have any ideas on how I can preserve these a little bit better, I just want to make them so I can kind of put them in an album. Because you know if you over, over restore them, or uh, you know what I mean, um, alter them, um, then um, that wouldn't be too cool, but um, the one in the uh, COMC, there's about, let's see what we have here, go back, there's one, two, three, four, five, six of them, five or six of them, and one person has put a dollar sixty-nine for the striped bass, and then somebody else um, has put between twenty-three and thirty-five dollars. I remember seeing these in antique stores usually for around a dollar or two. That would be my guess, but still, cards from 1900 at a thrift store, uh, how cool is that? And unfortunately, they're not baseball. I, I kind of wished I knew what was on the ripped pages and why somebody threw this back even at 39 cents or whatever it was. Um, that's what they charged me for the, for the 10 of them. So that's what I have for you, and uh, let me know if you know anything more about these cards, and thank you for watching. And uh, just a quick update, I got these cleaned off as best as I want to go. There's the front of the, one of the cards, and there's the back of it. So you can see some of the text, but some paper's still there. Any further, and I could go ripping right through the card. Um, that one was the, one of the first ones I tried, and it's the worst condition one there. You can see some paper there, but... Uh, oops. Another one. Another one. This one I actually ripped through the card unfortunately so that's kinda stinks but anyway the northern pike that may have been the one I also creased by mistake there's another one the back's still there most of the paper still on that one there was another of the earlier ones I did and that melted the glue into the card so it kinda made a, a sticky mess there and that's probably the best one um, of course I dropped it on the floor and dented the corner but who's gonna notice right Anyway, so that's cool. They all can go in my little vintage cards binder now. And somebody else can restore them if they wanted to. So that's really cool. They're right now, uh, uh, what you call, authentic grade, maybe. So that's really pretty fun. 39 cents for those, so uh, thank you.